Donald Trump, Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. Yeah. It's just that simple. They're intimidating to him. He, does, he doesn't like to, to be challenged by them. Mark Cuban, um, eccentric billionaire, in hot water after belittling women on The View from aboard his own private jet. Of course, he tried to walk back to some degree or another what he said on X, writing in part. When I said this during the interview, I, I didn't get it out exactly the way I thought I did. So I apologize to anyone who felt slighted or upset by my response. As I said, it wasn't about Trump voters, supporters, or employees, current or former. Then it wasn't about anything. Then he didn't say anything at all. Uh, President Trump responded in part, Mark Cuban, a really dumb guy who, <laughs> who thinks he's hot stuff, but he's absolutely nothing, is now out there saying that I didn't surround myself with strong women. Actually, he's very wrong. I surrounded myself with the strongest of women, with the understanding that all women are great, whether strong or not strong. He said that's what, that's what he uh, said there. And, uh, and honestly, we were just talking, it's, and, he, and, and Mark Cuban does this from board his private jet, which is a nice look if you're you know, looking for a date, but it's, it's when you're criticizing women, just pretty amazing that... Uh, yeah, it, it was rich. I mean, I tweeted out, my mom's a Trump supporter. She served on 9-11 as an NYPD detective. She's a registered nurse. She's a single mom who raised three, three kids, and she's Puerto Rican. So you're calling her weak and stupid. I thought talking about Puerto Ricans in that manner was like <laughs> World War III in this country <laughs> as a Puerto Rican. Um, Mark Cuban is ridiculous. I mean, he has so bad of a Trump derangement syndrome that he needs to go to a psychiatrist. Um, and I would love to see Mr. Wonderful and Mark Cuban on a debate stage going after it. Because Mark Cuban, I don't think he has any ideological bone in his body. Mm. He just hates Trump so much that he's going to be a cheerleader for Kamala Harris the rest of this campaign. But a lot of people look at him and they're like, can you go back to Shark Tank? Like, we don't yeah. want to hear from you, dude. I just want to know, why, why is Mark Cuban so front and center for a Kamala's campaign? Like, wh why him? It doesn't seem like any of the Democrat men out there, like Gavin Newsom, Pete Buttigieg, Shapiro, Andy Bashar, any of them, where are they? Why is it that Mark Cuban is is kind of leading the charge I, for Kamala maybe he's Harris? Running for it's of weird. Texas. I think yeah. it's a little weird. No, I, I mean, I, I think I can answer that. It's because he is part of that wealthy billionaire class that Donald Trump aspired to be a part of, or, you know, I guess according to some people, he is a part of. So it's like someone who is actually successful at business criticizing Donald Trump and saying Donald Trump is not the guy. So I, I think that's where he comes in. He's not a politician like Pete Buttigieg or like uh, Andy Bashir. So I think that's, that's the reason or that they bring in uh, Mark Cuban. Donald Trump is a pretty successful billionaire. <laughs> he's made several billion off of Truth Social, and he's got skyscrapers all over the world with his name. I've been to a lot of them, and, and uh, he's done pretty well. And he's not a politician either. Where his first job in politics was president of the United States. I didn't know that his net worth was up for debate at this point. But <laughs> going back to what Mark Cuban said, this is part of a larger problem with liberals and the way they talk about women. They go after Trump for allegedly insulting women. But if you are a conservative or a Republican woman, you are completely completely disposable to the mm -hmm. left. I mean, look at the ad they put out this week, suggesting that the only reason a woman might vote for Donald Trump is because her husband is an abusive, domineering mm -hmm. a-hole, mm -hmm. and that you have to hide your vote from him to vote for Kamala. It's beyond disturbing, and they clearly don't actually care about women. They only care about women who will vote for them. Mm -hmm. Maybe they should have Doug Emhoff out there uh, speaking uh, to them. He's healthy they're, masculinity, they're, 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 they say. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that's uh, toxic. <laughs>